Hi, Dr. Ariane from the Movement Paradigm. Today, we're going to talk about three different somatic approaches that you can use based on the emotions and feelings that you're having. As you may have seen in some of my other videos, when we're referring to somatic experiencing or somatic therapy, we're thinking about a body approach to emotional and mental health that we often think of in the world of mental health, we often think of a top-down approach. So we're thinking of cognitive-based approach, thinking ourselves or talking ourselves out of our feelings. So really what our bodies are, are very familiar with evolutionarily is we are 93% nonverbal, so meaning from our body. So when we can utilize movement and integrate our movement to address mental health, it can be really powerful. So we're going to talk about three different things. Some of my favorites today. Number one is a butterfly hug. So if you are feeling sad, if you're feeling down, if you feel like you need to be comforted or soothed, this is a great technique for you. So you interlace your thumbs like this, you bring it across your chest and just let your fingers reach towards your shoulders. There's no right or wrong here. First, just allowing yourself to settle in, just feeling your hands, just feeling that comfort, that soothing of your arms. And then when you feel ready, you can just gently alternate your hands and just a gentle tappy motion, whatever feels comfortable for however long you feel like you'd like to. This can cause a huge emotional release. So if you feel emotional, if you feel like you're going to cry, that is the point. So allow yourself to do that. Give yourself that grace. If you don't, if it just feels soothing, then just do it as long as you would like. If you are feeling a little bit frustrated and annoyed and you're just, oh, you just need to get some things out, a couple different options for this is uh, wipe away. So bending over, and of course, make sure you're in a position that feels good for your body and just thinking of wiping stuff away. So whatever whatever frustrations you have, just allow in your body and you can increase that movement as you feel comfortable. Um, a simultaneous to that is something just a very simple called shaking. So if you feel like, especially as it relates to animals in the wild, when they are in a fight or flight response, they are able to quite literally shake it off and return to that state of homeostasis very quickly. So shaking, if you're feeling frustrated and again, you just want to get some energy out, just shaking, 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 and then allowing yourself to settle in, check in and notice what's happening in your body. The third one, which is one of my favorites, is the goddess. <laughs> if you're a male, you can refer to this as something different, but it can be very empowering. So turning your feet out and uh, bringing your hands, let's say at heart center, if you're into yoga. So inhaling as you come down, letting the knees go out and then exhale, let your arms go up to the ceiling. And just doing this at a pace, again, that feels good for you. If you feel like you want to evoke a sense of happiness and empowerment, this is a great technique. So you can hopefully just appreciate from these, these three simple strategies how we can shift our emotions and our thoughts by moving in, getting into our body physically, feeling our body. So these are just some out of many examples of how to do that. So if you'd like to learn more, please make sure to reach out to us. We would love to help. And as always, thank you so much for joining and hopefully you'll subscribe to the Movement Paradigm for weekly tips on mindset, nutrition, and movement.